I think a lot of people when they watch these, when they see people come out and tell their story, they wonder, well, why are you coming out now? What's your goal? And there's a goal here. The goal here is to say, I need your forgiveness. And that's the purpose of this interview. He's coming out. He wants to clear his name. And he also, he's young. He has a future ahead of him. And he doesn't want this incident to ruin his career, to ruin his life. His body language is quite good just from viewing these clips. Again, he's groomed. He was groomed to have contact, eye contact with Katie, to look up, to face her. We do see in those moments where he looks down when he's assessing his feelings and he's feeling ashamed. Even his dress, maybe no one else thinks ab about it, but what he's wearing was picked out for him. And if you look at it, it's a very neutral outfit. It's just soft whites with neutral khaki pants. And that was a strategic look because it doesn't draw attention. It kind of just mellows him out. And athletes tend to be very loud, very vivid, very kind of in your face. And that's not the image that is being painted here for us. This interview is a mix of truth with lies. So the thing with this particular interview is it's very rehearsed. It's very clear that he has been receiving some type of coaching from someone and he has rehearsed the things he's saying and it's more than likely a lot of the questions he's being asked he knew in advance. So he's trying to come off as genuine but the thing is he doesn't because it sounds like a very rehearsed interview. He's turning it around on you and he's saying just empathize with me everybody. He's saying yes I, I misled you all, yes I lied to you all but you know I'm just 21 and even him bringing his parents in for the interview, that seems like a very tactical move, which is smart on whoever's coaching him. They're shifting your perception to say, well, it's not that big, strong, tough guy that plays football, a grown man. He's just a kid. If you just break the scene down, we have him, a, a prominent possible NFL football player, grown man, strong man, tough man, with his mother and his father here next to him. And they are portraying to him as a kid. His father says, my son is not a liar, he's just a kid. Again, it's minimizing, it's taking away the responsibility, the onus. I do want to point out that there is a genuine moment in, some of, in this interview, and I think this is one of those. You see his father is teary-eyed and he's, he's crying, and that's genuine. And then if you look closer to Manti, he's crying as well. I think that's a very genuine thing. He's let his family down, he's embarrassed, and he's had to drag his family, in some sense, on national television to defend him. That is a genuine moment and he's looking down. Typically when people look down, they are assessing their feelings. They're coming from a place of emotion and that's what he's doing here. He's not looking at the camera, he's not looking at the people or at Katie. He's looking down because he's embarrassed and he's humiliated and he's hurting for his dad. That is a genuine moment. Thank you for watching Extra on YouTube. And for 24-7 updates on celebrity news, subscribe to our channel here, like us on Facebook here, or follow us on Twitter, here. And if you want your voice heard, leave a comment below. Where? Right there. <laughs>